r slash ask reddit, what's the real reason you're single? I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. True story. I am unable to make the first move. Some kind of fear prevents me from doing it. I wait too long and lose the girl and heartbreak ensues. I'd give anything to break this shitty cycle. I nearly never make the first move too. I made a slap bet with 5 of my friends to get out of it. A couple of them I knew would slap me hard as shit if I lost the bet. So literally the week after I hit on a girl at a party, she fell face first and got really hurt before I could get anywhere. I swear if there's a god he really enjoys cockablecking my ass. My high standards and lack of a social life. Oh boy do I feel this one deep. As soon as I start to like someone, I go crazy and then self-sabotage hard. I'm uglier than my inappropriately high standards. D. Trust issues and I honestly would rather not be in a relationship anymore. Spit it out. I have no idea how to flirt I'm not attractive enough for others to initiate. Just be co nf I dent. I'm a pretty bad boyfriend to be honest. I get tired of people and want to be left alone for long periods of time. That's not great for relationships. Mix that with some trust issues and well, at least I got my hand. Yep, I'm great on paper and a decent person I think, but not a good boyfriend husband. Not abusive, but lose affection and would rather be doing my hobbies. No one wants me. I don't like going to restaurants by myself so I would be satisfied with someone that would just eat with me. Same here. I just want someone to go out to eat with. Social anxiety. Me too brother. My self confidence is at an all time low after my previous girlfriend. It's been almost 2 years and I'm still not in the mood for another relationship. Coming close to 4 for me. I know exactly how you feel. Because I can't seem to believe that any man would want a woman like me. So I just bury myself in work and focus on getting degrees instead. Edit. Wow. I'm rather shocked by the amount of sweet and encouraging replies. It means a lot to me. Thanks. 3. Because my wife died and I'll probably never meet anyone as amazing as her. My partner of 10 years passed away last year. I know what you mean. There is a lot of nuance just in moving forward through life without even considering dating again. I have had a few people clearly hint they would date me if I ever felt like it one day. I don't think that's ever going to happen though. Kind of just broken and fine with that. I'll have new adventures that don't revolve around being in a relationship. I wish you the very best. I still miss her. Yep, that's a tough one. And very hard for someone to compete with an ideal or a memory. Social ineptitude on a level that makes me seriously think I'm autistic. Same. I looked it up and... I'm not. Even then I start wandering again from time to time. I suck at starting conversations. I enjoy talking and don't think I'm too socially awkward. But I just don't like being the one to start. And maybe no one finds me attractive either lol. In no particular order. Waited too long to get started. I'm now at an age where most of my peers are coupled and raising kids. Having never been on a date or experienced any kind of romantic intimacy at this point is shameful and I can't imagine anyone accepting me if they knew this. Oh. Did I mention my hair is going grey from head to toe? That's distressing. Self esteem dependency issues. I was very sensitive to teasing when I was younger and struggled to fit in living in an affluent, white, Christian suburb. It's made me a naturally quiet and introverted person who's hesitant to speak up out. Even when I always dreamed of being the life of the party or just being invited to a party. Not to mention that I grew up with an absent father and absent minded mother who prevented me from being independent and taking control of my life when I was a young adult. I now fear moving out and being on my own and likely never will. Lack of friends. The few friends I've made in the past 10-15 years were ultimately just using me for something. And once they got that something, I never heard from any of them again. It's like people could sense that I was naive and eager for any scrap of interaction and they took advantage of it. It's made me guarded and slightly distrusting of people. Even though I desperately crave friendship, I haven't got a clue where I can go to meet sincere people at this stage of life. Depression. 
All of this has completely crushed my spirit and will to live. I now spend weekends in bed. I haven't filed my taxes in years and I'm past due on a few bills. I stopped exercising a few months ago. I think about killing myself every day and cry on a regular basis. I don't know how to continue and I would truly be grateful to die. I remember being a teenager and wondering when I'd meet that person and have my first kiss, my first relationship, my first heartbreak, etc. Every year I'd ask myself is this the year? That time has passed and I now realize it's gone. Single for 5 years now. I stayed single after my past relationship because I realized that I have much more freedom than I did when I used to be in being in relationships. I can do anything I want without having to worry about anyone else. Less stress. No one finds me attractive. I'm probably gonna get some hate for this but, people who say this, and I'm guilty of it myself, say no one finds me attractive but actually mean no one I find attractive finds me attractive. The girls who are interested in me aren't the ones I'm attracted to and the girls I am attracted to aren't interested in me. I took care of my late papa for 6 years and nephews for 2 of those. I didn't want to make anyone feel that they had to sign up for what I did. Now, I am adjusting to life without my papa and being alone for the first time in my life. I have come to like being alone. I also wouldn't know where to begin looking. I keep to myself a lot. Not pretty. Boring. Too busy. Not interested. High expectations. Cause I'm a drunken self-sabotaging a-hole. I'll raise my glass to that. I'm addicted to internet porn. Now that does hurt. You should look up the TED talk about it. It's very enlightening. It may not cure your addiction but it's a good watch nonetheless. Emotionally exhausted, physically ugly, and a huge introvert. But, being single has its perks. I am extremely scared to hurt another person. Also by that I'm not willing to be vulnerable. To open up. After few relationships I'm scared of my own energy and how intense can I be. I know that someday I'll have to open up and I'm sure it's coming. But I'm not ready and I want to work on my career and skills. I know that someday I'll have to open up and I'm sure it's coming. But I'm not ready and I want to work on my career and skills. Even just knowing this is a huge accomplishment. Work on yourself without judgment from others. When you're ready, you'll know it. Because I'm not the guy you end up with. I'm the guy that gets you to the one you're supposed to end up with. Nobody has seen me as the choice, only an option. I'm the girl version of this. Totally. Wanted to get my shit together before having to deal with someone else's shit. I don't put any work into my appearance, how I conduct myself, and I'm a very socially awkward person in general. I think I approach it the wrong way. I come off as just wanting to be friends so probably put people off thinking that I'm not interested in them in the relationship kind of way. Because I broke up less than a week ago, she was toxic and treated me like shit. Congratulations. The person I want, who wants me back, is waiting for me to grow up. Ouch. I've also been there. Oddly, now I grew up she is the most immature person I know. I don't like people. I don't really want to share my life with someone romantically. Not interested in having a relationship. I don't know, but I think I have trust issues. My self esteem is really low and I think I still have crush on a friend who friend zoned me 2 years ago. Sorry for my bad English. I don't know how to take a relationship from platonic to romantic plz save me I've been in love with all my friends and I don't know how to express it. I've been in love with all my friends. That sounds like you become infatuated with anyone that pays any attention to you, not love. I don't go out to the places people meet other people. I'm awkward, and I'm ace so I'm too afraid to get to know someone and have them drop me for it. Hum maybe I can explain in words. I think I have fear of commitment and the idea to spend a lot of time together it's nice and fun to have someone and be happy but I like my alone time too. And I think I am scared to lose someone. Lost my mom in 2012 had cancer. Probably has to do with that too something in my head is holding me back and ignoring trying to avia those things. I got a lot of good friends. Like two party and social life is good so I dk what's really really stopping me for a relationship. Most likely because I am not at all attractive. 
fat and depressed. Single life is just so stress free and relaxed, I don't have to worry about anyone but myself. I just think getting a GF sometimes would be too complicated ak I'm chicken. Because I'm terrified of commitment and it's not fair to the other person to get into a relationship that I'll probably break off as soon as it starts getting too serious. I want to learn to love myself before I try loving a significant other. My dating pool is very small. Because I don't have money to do stuff. I did decades of taking care of people and now that my kids are grown, I have no desire to have my life governed by someone else's anxieties, fears and needs, my own are quite enough to deal with, I really don't need anyone so I would be in a relationship with the right like minded co-conspirator, but I'm content to be myself until they come along, if they ever do, and yes I am very happy and content on my own. I ran out of time. I'm gonna be honest, based on the quick glance I took at your post history, I don't think it's time that's the issue. You appear to hold some, out of the norm, let's say, views. I think there's someone out there for everyone, but your pool might be a little more limited as a result. Mine is, too, but for different reasons. I'm just a bad person. Being ugly, too bored to put effort. I'm not sure what to tell you then. I think subconsciously go after people that I know are unavailable because I am too scared of a relationship actually working out. I've always found this to be a bit of an odd question. Why is anyone single? Because they haven't found the right person yet. People don't just have a partner by default. It takes a considerable amount of effort, the right circumstances and often an extreme amount of luck to find someone compatible enough to enter into a relationship with. If you listen to couples stories about how they met, it's often in the craziest and most unlikely circumstances. And even then, there's no guarantee it will last, and if it doesn't, it's back to square one. People think they don't have a chance with me cause I'm hot. I'm old so I can safely speak to this. Grew up around exceptionally attractive people. What I saw was that being idealized or rescued are just versions of objectification. For someone in this situation, confidence is paramount. Work on your ability to support yourself financially, develop a mature outlook and strong friendships. You'll avoid the rescues and will have a chance to attract a good match. My best wishes to you. Autism and a dislike of parties. It's not other people's fault I dislike the largest sort of social function people my age go to. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.